So this is my research project and my name's Bonnie Kidd. Who am I? Hello, my name is Bonnie and I have been doing a four week internship with YouthLink Scotland through the Career Ready programme with my mentor Amy. What is Career Ready? Career Ready is a national social mobility charity at the heart of a network of employers and educators who all believe that every young person, regardless of their background, deserves opportunity to kickstart a rewarding future. Career Ready works by pairing a young person with a mentor. The young person then gets the opportunity to take place in a paid internship at their mentor's workplace and through this the um, young person can build a series of networks and communications with the different members of staff that they meet. Career Ready believe that they empower young people who research shows face barriers in education and employment. So my research project. As part of the Career Ready programme, each intern is asked to put together a short presentation which they can present at some point during their internship. For my presentation, I decided to complete a research project which is in relation to YouthLink Scotland. The overall aim of my research project was to develop a better understanding of young people's engagement with youth work. My research questions. Before I started my research project, I had to come up with my research questions. My research questions are what I'm trying to find out. The research questions I chose were, what is youth work in Scotland, which young people are taking part in youth work, which young people are not taking part in youth work, and how can young people not taking part in youth work be supported to engage in youth work. What is youth work? Youth work is an informal education practice that supports young people's social, emotional and educational development. Youth work can be adapted across a variety of settings and typically engages with young people within their local community, and that's the YouthLink Scotland's definition on their website. Where can youth work take place? So youth work can take place in a like, wide variety of different places, such as youth clubs and youth centres, youth cafes, community groups, uniforms, voluntary organisations, youth action or participation groups, youth counselling, drug and alcohol programmes, outdoor education centres, on the streets, which is outreach or detached youth work, youth work in schools or online. What are the youth work essential and definitive features? Um, that young people choose to participate in youth work, that youth work must be built from where the young people are and that youth work recognises the young person and the youth workers as partners in a learning process. The purposes of youth work. It builds the self-esteem and confidence of young people. It develops young people's ability to manage personal and social relationships. It creates learning opportunities and develops new skills for young people. It encourages positive group, group atmospheres. It builds the capacity of young people to consider risks, make reasonable decisions and take control. It develops a world view which widens horizons and invites commitment. So the National Youth Work Outcomes and Skills Framework believes that youth work has seven main outcomes. So that's things such as young people build their health and well-being and that young people broaden their perspectives through new experiences and thinking, but also the different variety of skills that are like developed and strengthened throughout youth work. So things like organisation and planning, resilience, relationships, communication, problem solving and being able to look after yourself as a young person. Research method. Before beginning my research project, I had to choose a research method. For my research method, I chose to do a survey. I chose a survey as it was a quick and effective way to gather as much data and information as possible. Most of the respondents to my survey were people who had been contacted by myself or by a member of the YouthLink Scotland team. So thank you to everyone who sent my survey out. The benefits. There were many benefits for using a survey for my research method. Some of the benefits include allowing data to come from multiple sources at once, being an easy way to gather as much information and data as possible in a short period of time, and being an effective way to compare and analyse findings. The challenges. However, even though there were several benefits to using a survey as my research method, there were also a few challenges, such as there is a risk that respondents gave dishonest responses, not all the questions were answered, and that respondents may have interpreted the questions differently from others. Ethics. As I was completing my research project, I had to ensure that I was being ethical at all times and that I was following all the ethical guidelines that myself and Amy had put in place. Some of the ethics we had chosen for me to follow were only young people over the age of 16 could complete my survey, that all responses were anonymous, that respondents only had to answer the questions they wished to answer, and that my survey was password protected and only YouthLink Scotland had access to it. The key findings. 
So for the first few questions on my survey, I used demographic questions because they're a good way to identify and view the variety between all the respondents and a good way to see patterns between responses. So we found that a significantly higher amount of females completed the survey compared to males or others. Um, again, there was more people who came from white backgrounds compared to different ethnic groups or black groups. Um, more straight and heterosexual people completed the survey than anyone from other sexualities and that most of the respondents were from the City of Edinburgh Council or Midlothian Council and then we did have a variety from the west of Scotland. Most of my respondents had never been in care or been looked after and most of my respondents didn't have a disability or long term medical condition. So following the demographic questions at the start of the survey, all respondents were then asked if they knew what youth work was. 59 out of the 61 respondents answered these questions. 36 respondents said yes and 23 respondents said no. How would you describe youth work? After being asked if they knew what youth work was, respondents were then asked to describe youth work in their own words. 41 out of the 61 respondents did this. Here's a word cloud of all the frequent terms that came up in the respondents' answers. So most of the young people said things like supporting young people, working with young people, providing young people with like a safe place, with safe experiences, but then also just making sure that young people are getting different opportunities that they wouldn't usually get through school. Have you ever taken part in youth work? After respondents had been asked to describe youth work in their own words, they were then given a definition of what youth work actually is. Following being given this definition, 38 out of the 61 respondents said they had taken part in youth work and the other 23 said they had not taken part in youth work. Where have you taken part in youth work? So about 60% of respondents had taken part in voluntary organisation, 47% had taken part in youth club and youth participation groups and uniformed youth work, 31% took part in youth work in schools, 23% took part in community groups and youth action or youth, partici youth participate youth participation groups, 15% took part in outdoor education or online youth work, 13% took part in on the streets, so outreach or detached youth work, 7% took part in youth counselling, 5% took part in youth cafes and 2% took part in drug and alcohol programmes. Why haven't you taken part in youth work? Those who had chosen no when asked if they had taken part in youth work were then given the chance to clarify why they had not engaged with youth work before. Here are a few of the responses given. So most of the people who hadn't taken part in youth work said that they didn't know about it or maybe they couldn't be bothered to take part. Um, a lot of people had said things like COVID really affected their opportunities so they never got around to sign up to youth work or didn't know what it was. But there was one answer that did stick out to me that they'd said that they suffered from extreme anxiety and that youth work makes them their anxiety worse because they don't like being around people that they wouldn't usually socialise with and they didn't know. So how can youth work be supported to engage, how can young people be supported to engage in youth work? All respondents were then asked how they think young people can be supported in engaging with youth work. Here's a word cloud of all the frequent terms that came up in the respondents' answers and a few of the responses are on the next slide. So a lot of people said promoting it, so that whether that's through schools or social media, um, some people said making it more known in group centres and group communities that there is youth work available to young people. Um, giving young people opportunities and experiences that make them want to take part in youth work because they know that if they take part in youth work then they'll get the chance to do this. Um, and a lot of people did say like maybe don't like, overexposure it so don't like keep telling people to take part in youth work, don't force them, just like give them an opportunity to do it. So I know a lot of people did talk about travel assistance because some young people said that they never did youth work because it was a cost to them to travel. Um, a lot of people said make things more localised. Um, a lot of people did talk about like the accessible spaces for disabled people and making sure people from different ethnic minorities and the LGBTQ plus community are being included. But most of the respondents did say more advertising and promotion. The key recommendations. Overall, my research project can be used as a sample to look into why young people aren't engaging with youth work. My findings can be shared with YouthLink Scotland and their own networks to try and figure out ways in which young people can be supported into engaging with youth work. Conclusions In conclusion, we can see that there are various different reasons as to why young people aren't taking part in youth work and how these reasons are similar between a large group of young people. We can also see that the suggestions on how to support young people to engage in youth work link with the reasons of why people aren't taking part in youth work. Therefore, it would be a good idea to reflect on these responses and try to enforce as many of the suggestions as, poss as possible, whilst also asking for more input from young people. 
my learning from this process. I have really enjoyed my internship so far and would like to thank everyone for being so kind and welcoming and for giving me their time today to present my research project. Now that I've completed my research project, it has made me more confident to take on more research tasks in future and has also made me more confident and comfortable to be able to present my own presentations. So thank you for listening to my presentation. Any questions? <laughs>